Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. You're good child. That's why your scholarship okay. is done. That's why, your that's why your scholarship, scholarship who organized scholarship killing Malcolm X. That's why it was your scholarship who killed Malcolm X. We are not the one because he found the truth. When Malcolm X, when Malcolm X, rahimahullah, when he came and he came to Mecca and he saw Muslims, not just only black people, he came. He found people who are white, who are black, white, and black, Arabs, and then Arabs. They are playing in the same place. And that's why you killed my comment. You have done that. that Okay, you see all the details he's leaving out here, and you find Muslims doing this all the time with the Nation of Islam. And this is why black people get turned off from people like this, this brother, Sheikh Muhammad, instantly, because we know he's talking, about, he don't know what he's talking about. The way that he's speaking, number one, he's obviously never read the autobiography of Malcolm X, right? If he did, then he would know that Elijah Muhammad sent him uh, to Mecca while he was in the nation, before he left the nation. And Elijah Muhammad paid for that trip. Are y'all hearing me? He would know that. And he's saying, because Malcolm X went to Mecca and he saw all these white people, he was shocked, and he came back, he found the truth, and that's why the nation... Assassinate. Is that why? Is that why the nation assassinated him? Plus all these other details, which he convenient left, conveniently left out, like the FBI involvement in the assassination of Malcolm X. But when is this? When it's Muslims who are trying to refute the nation, they always conveniently leave that part out. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. First off, the net, the Netflix piece. If if I could. I would airbrush every scene that I was in it. Mm -hmm. I regret it was a mistake on my part. You know, I've been in a lot of, uh, you know, documentaries, Malcolm, the Black Panthers, different things like that. This is the only documentary that I've ever been in that I realized it was a mistake. But I didn't know it was a mistake in part because I didn't do my homework. The first mm -hmm. mistake that I made and normally I would do this, and I can't figure out why I didn't do it this time, is I would fig I would find out who the producer was. I didn't. Uh, I knew that the people who were doing the filming and stuff, I talked to them, and I knew some of their other work, some of which I didn't, you know, really appreciate. But I didn't find out, I didn't find out until they had filmed me at the end of the last filming is when I realized that Skip Gates was the producer. And we've had this conversation, Jared. Mm -hmm. If I would have known that Skip Gates yeah. was behind yeah. that film, when they first contacted me, I would have said, hell no. to the no. But I didn't know that. And so I, I have to I have to live with that. Mm. Okay? Um you know, because I don't, I don't trust, you know, I don't trust Gates. I don't, you know, I don't, you know, I, I've seen his documentaries. I I don't respect him, you know, as an African scholar, because I don't think he considers himself an African scholar. I think he considers himself a scholar who happens to be black. So I don't have no time for Skip Gates, but if I would have known, knowing his commercialization history and mm -hmm. other things, no discussion was needed. I would have called it a day, but I didn't know that. I also had no idea what angle they were coming from. You know, because mm. all I did, you know, and they interviewed me twice. I, I went up to Brooklyn one time and they interviewed me like most of the day. And then they came to my college and they interviewed me all day. They came at around 7, 7.15. I had a class at 8 o'clock. They came into the classroom and they basically stayed with me until 7.30 that night. And I spent the bulk of that time talking about the FBI 
and the NYPD and their role in Malcolm's assassination. And when they interviewed me in Brooklyn, I spent the bulk of the time talking about the nation, the FBI and the NYPD. So I'm thinking, you know, that, you know, I'm giving them some good stuff. And then when I see the film, I'm there all day at my college. And when I see the film, they had 10 seconds. They showed a scene where we were sitting down at my desk. Muhammad was sitting next to me. I guess he was asked, he asked the question something like that. And then that was pretty much it. But that wasn't the worst part, you know. I can deal with that. The worst part about that film is that, and it's real clear, you know, now what Gates and whoever funded it, what they were really all about. It was about basically showing the nation of Islam's role in Malcolm's assassination. It was about simplifying Malcolm's assassination as complex as it was. They wanted to simplify it to make the point that maybe possibly behind the scenes, the FBI might have, you know, did a little bit here and there, but they had nothing to do with the, with the actual assassination, same thing the NYPD. Um, that was the political angle of that film. And see, my thing is this, and, you know, and, you know, I, I don't need to say this to y'all, but the nation deserves to be, you know, pulled out there. No problem with that. That's what I do in my book. But how the hell can you put all this emphasis on the nation, but you ignore all of the disruptive tactics that the FBI and the NYPD were doing? But how the hell can you put all this emphasis on the nation, but you ignore all of the disruptive tactics that the FBI and the NYPD were doing? But how the hell can you put all this emphasis on the nation, but you ignore all of the disruptive tactics that the FBI and the NYPD were doing. And I and, and I well documented it. And this was also real interesting. And I didn't realize until at the end what that was about. When I was talking about the FBI, and I would talk and talk and talk, and I would you know sometimes pull out my book and give them a citation and all that type of stuff. Their thing to me was, but do you have the actual, a copy of the actual document? Huh? I wrote the damn book 26 years ago in my office right now. Do I have a copy of the damn documents? No, I don't have a copy of the documents. But that is what they needed in, uh, you know, from what I can gather now, that's what they needed in order to put it in the, you know, in order to, I guess, validate my statements about the FBI. Even if I'm reading directly from a document, they didn't want to hear it for legal reasons and all that type of stuff. But here's the thing. When it came to talking about the nation and all of the different, you know, all the garbage that the nation was doing, you didn't need no extra documents. They weren't asking for no damn FBI files and all that when it came to the nation. Whatever you got to say, we want to hear it for the nation. But if you're going to talk about the FBI, we need for liability and legal reasons, we need to see some type of credible sources type of stuff. And it has to be the actual sources. No, that was a show, you know, that really was a charade. Yeah. Um, and like I said, if I could take it back, I would take it back. My understanding is they're doing a second one and they need not knock on my door. Not to mention the fact that there was nothing, and I, I want to make this point real clear because the more, you know, I've only been able to see this film one time. I mean, excuse me, one and a half times. I started seeing, okay, I saw it the first time and I was, you know, and the second time, you know, I couldn't see it. You know, I was watching it with my wife and we were watching for a little bit. And then I realized I started falling asleep. And then I realized it wasn't that I was tired, is that I did not want to waste no more time with this bullshit. Yeah. But 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 here's the thing. There was nothing in that documentary that represented new information that had not already substantively been covered in my book. Nothing, nothing of substance. 